Can you also talk about the role that you have seen that uh, foundations play in success of open source? It's an underappreciated role. And I spent, I believe it was five years on the open stack board. So I'm, I'm very familiar with how a foundation, uh, ca- what it can do and what it can't do from an open source perspective. And people uh, will correctly understand that the role of a board or a foundation is very driven by the marketing and the brand. It's the main lever that the, the, the foundations have is around how the brand of the software gets used, which sounds like a very weak use case. But the reality is what it really does is it polices the commercial aspects around the project. And so the, one of the biggest dangers for an open source project is that the people, it, it gets popular, and then the, the companies that are around the project will make claims about using that project that are not true. And the foundations are actually able to police the behavior, the engagement, the marketing, what's said about the projects, right? They actually have a lot of behind the scenes influence to make sure that people don't fork. They help resist forking pressures. They resist uh, vendors misrepresenting. They resist vendors um, basically working against each other. It is an absolutely essential role Because fundamentally, right, in a a successful open source project at the foundation level, these are competitors trying to collaborate on a shared community good. And the foundation polices how that is shared. They have to create enough competition and opportunity for everybody. And they have to make sure that people don't take the pieces and and run or, or guard things that they think are proprietary. And and that role of, um, it's not a policeman, they don't have the the engagement. It's a lot lot more carrots. They they can use marketing as a stick and and not allow people to be part of the brand. Um, And so there's a very careful balance uh, to act as a diplomat and negotiator um, inside of this, you know, potentially delicate environment. And, And choosing how all those things get set up. I do also like when foundations uh, invest some resources in doing some of the toil for projects and making sure that there's tests and uh, training, documentation, right? I I do think that uh, really successful foundations have done that investment also to make sure that uh, some of the things that sometimes vendors lean on the community and become lost, those that certifications is another example. Those are very, very important roles for foundations also to take on because it provides sort of a base strength for the community that the, the users really depend on. <laughs>